In the human body, sugars and lipids are produced by digesting food. Metabolism of these substances relies on the interplay between different organs and tissues. Here we focus on the metabolism of glucose in skeletal muscle. Glucose is an important energy source for cellular metabolism. Glucose present in the blood can enter the cell via a specialized protein in the cell membrane. Energy in the form of ATP is produced when glucose is used as a substrate for glycolysis and then in oxidative phosphorylation in mitochondria. After a meal, the pancreas secretes insulin into the bloodstream in response to increased blood glucose levels. At the skeletal muscle cell, insulin binds to the insulin receptor, which will trigger a series of events inside the cell. The signal is passed through a cascade of reactions. Activation of the insulin signaling pathway results in recruitment of liposomes containing glucose transporter proteins. Fusion of the vesicles with the cell membrane increases the number of glucose transporters in the membrane and more glucose can move into the cell. The extra glucose can be used to produce ATP or can be converted into glycogen where it is stored for future use. As a result, blood glucose levels will decrease and the pancreas will reduce the secretion of insulin. Without insulin, the insulin receptors and intracellular signaling pathway become deactivated. The glucose transporters are recycled to their inactive location inside the storage vesicles and the uptake of glucose is lowered. The insulin signaling pathway thus ensures that only the correct molecules are allowed to enter the cell. Consequently, blood glucose levels are kept relatively constant despite large changes in supply and demand.